Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? Joey Sugarbuck back here with another video for you guys. Yes, I know, it's been a while. Sorry about that. I've just been kind of busy lately and in the spring. As you guys know, I don't exactly upload as much, but back here with a video. I might be doing this a little bit later than needed, but I did this last year. I'm going to be doing a Ravens draft recap and just updates because, wow, just wow, we have been signing everybody do like so let's go so let's start with the draft and then we're gonna get into free agency stuff i might i might have to have a little bit of a break in between because i'm trying to like pull up these different articles here but i'll try not to bore you guys so first pick we got in the draft is marquise brown who supposedly is really good i don't know much about him but yeah we got him from oklahoma a lot of guys from oklahoma or oklahoma state here so yes marquise brown a wide receiver so guys before the draft, I was we got Seth Roberts, but I was still uneasy about our wide receiver core, and I was nervous. I'm pretty sure we got, counting our uh, latest signs, I think we got three or four wide receivers in the whole draft, and we signed a couple follow-ups. So that is huge. And we and we drafted us an Ozzy really good running back in the draft, so we are set on offense. Defense? Well, we'll dig more into that in just a minute. But yeah, so we got Marquise Brown. Really happy about that. Next, we got Jalen Ferguson, who's from Louisiana Tech. He is a defensive end. So, I mean, we need all the pass rushers we can get. Um, I'll take that. I'm definitely not going to complain. So, yes, let's keep it up. Next, guys, another wide receiver here. We got Miles Boykin from North Notre Dame. And, I mean, pile on the wide receivers if you want to, I guess. I'm happy about Miles Boykin. I've seen some highlights. I think he's the receiver that we need, and I'm really hoping that it pays off in the next season. Next, guys, the running back who I was just talking about, Justice Hill, who is supposedly really good. Um, he's from what's uh, Oklahoma State. So that's just huge, man. I mean, I really like the way we did the draft this year. We were very successful, in my opinion. Anyways, try not to be biased here, but I definitely think we were pretty good. So yes, welcome to the team, Justice Hill. Next, we got Ben Powers, who is an offensive lineman, which is good because we are low on offensive linemen. Marsha Yonda is still here, but he is I he only has a year or two left in him because he's getting old and stuff. And we've lost I, I don't think we have James Hurst anymore. I'm not sure, but we're just not doing the best right now with offensive line. So it's key that we drafted an offensive lineman here. Ben Powers, here we go. So next, I'm in or Eamon, don't know how to say his name, Marshall, who's from USC, so shout out to Eamon or Eamon Marshall, he's a cornerback, now cornerbacks, I think we're okay, there was a worry that Jimmy Smith was going to be gone, but he's not, we ended up getting, he's still, he, I think he signed a new contract, I don't know, but he should be with us for the next season, which is huge, next guy, we got Dalen Mack, who's from Texas A&M, uh, he's a defensive team, Ackle, who's supposedly, I mean, good at pass rush, or, or at least, um, you know, he's strong, able to break through the offensive line and stuff. So I'm not sure if he's going to get the start, but that's a good backup at the very least. Now, this is might stir up a little bit of trouble here, but our last one, or, uh, for the draft anyways, is Trace McSorley from Penn State, and he is a QB. I might be overthinking this a little bit, but wow, we drafted another QB. So that puts up a zillion questions here. What's going to happen? I mean, Lamar Jackson, I think, is the starter, but we also have RG3 and Trace McSorley now, this QB who we drafted. I am surprised that we drafted a QB. I will I will admit that right there. I am surprised. I didn't think that we were going to. I thought I thought we were going to leave it up to Lamar Jackson and uh, Robert Griffin III, but we didn't. So this is going to be like a big question mark into what happens. So another thing is, I'm going to guess that Lamar Jackson is going to be the starter at least, but if Lamar Jackson is doing so badly to start the year, who's going to come in? Trace McSorley or RG3? That is going to be very interesting. So I look forward to seeing that, but man, 
That is going to be something. So, guys, that is it for the draft players. I'm going to try and pull up. Uh, you guys know. Yeah, all right, here we go. So, there are some people who we signed. And, guys, the first one is LJ Scott. I don't know what that's shortened for. And yeah, so LJ Scott, another running back. We just keep on piling on the running backs. So, that is really Big. We got him from Michigan State. Welcome to the team, LJ Scott. I don't, I haven't seen any highlights from him yet, but yes, he definitely. I mean, just keep on piling on the running backs, but <laughs> eventually we're gonna have too many. I mean, let's see here. We have, we just have one in the draft. Two. I, I don't even know how many running, how, how many running backs we have, but we have quite a bit as of right now. Next, guys, another wide receiver, which is nice. We got um Antone West Antone or Antone Wesley from uh Texas Tech. So shout out to that. Shout out to uh, Antone Wesley. I uh, really appreciate our signing there. I think that that's gonna be nice. Keep on piling on the wide receivers, but we also need some defense. Also, next, guys, we also got. Um, this was actually a defensive lineman, I think, from just Miami. I don't, I don't know if it's supposed to be the Miami Dolphins or just, like, the, the college Miami. But we got a defensive lineman, Gerald Willis. And I feel like I've heard of him before. I don't know why, but I, I feel like I've heard of him. So, yes, welcome to the team, Jared Willis. That was nice. Really nice. And, yes, just keep, like I said, guys, keep piling them on. So, that is it for the Raven stuff. But we also need to shout out a new subscriber here, guys. That subscriber to shout out is Richard Dean. So shout out to Richard Dean, dude. You're a homie. Thank you so much. Now, I know I've kind of been vague here and kind of saying the same thing over and over again. But it's too early to dig too deep because we really need to see what happens to start the, to, to start the season. Because who is going to get the start? And that's going to play a huge role. But offense could be scary this year, which we need for sure. So guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to drop a like in the video and subscribe to you if you are new. And I'm gonna try to keep my uploads consistent here. I'm doing my best, and I will see what I can do. But I also, guys, when I'm in the summer, I will be uploading more probably. I will be uh, traveling a little bit this summer, but I still will be able to upload from my Hawaii, from my Hawaii spot uh, like I did uh, last April. So anyways, guys, that's gonna do it, and I will see you guys soon next time. Thank you so much for watching.